giveaway buddy. All right, so we just had kid on a bike pass us, a kid and a mom. We're at a playground right now. And Mr. Dennis is untethered. He is on the Easy Educator 900. So he is responsibly on a leash. He's not on a physical lead. Well, actually he's dragging it. So technically he is. But even if he wasn't on it, a literal lead, um, he's still on a remote leash. And that's really, to me, that's a safety thing. That's analogous to wearing your bike uh, helmet when you're biking. If you're rock climbing, wearing safety gear, you can be an awesome rock climber. You can be like Spider-Man, right? But, and you can feel really confident in your abilities, but guess what? Like life happens, crap happens. Parts of you never know and part of the rock face might be a little bit more slippery than you thought. Or that, that piece that you thought you had more grip on, you don't, right? Life happens, the unexpected happens. So just to quote, plan for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected and have a game plan for when you slip, you fall, you know, you fall on your bike and you hit your head, you want safety gear. It's the same thing with this, right? Your dog, he's pretty great with cum, but life happens, right? We're competing with squirrels, bunnies, wildlife, interesting other dogs. He's not a robot, right? He's not um, a machine that we make. He's a thinking, right? He's a thinking dog, he's a hound dog. When he gets on something, dogs can see tunnel vision. So this serves two purposes. For one, it corrects him blowing you off. That's kind of the obvious thing. We can correct him. But two, the thing I also want to highlight is this can be a tactile cue, a physical cue. Whether it's a tactile cue or a correction is all dependent on intensity, right? So easy educator, this range is one through 100. So one, depending on the dog, you know, one through eight-ish is more like a really quiet whisper. And as you go up in volume, it gets you know, from a whisper to a little bit louder, to a little bit louder, to outside voice, right? You, you have from your like faintest library voice, that's a whisper to, Dennis, don't cross the four lane traffic, where you're screaming, right? Um, so that's the same thing, one through 100, it all varies in terms of your volume. Here he is again, hey! And we've got kiddos at our side, right here, distractions. 